Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, it's Oli Permaculture. Oli Perrins, uh, aka the rap. Mike Titan, solo cipher. Uh, the depressed teacher, or semi depressed teacher, or happy teacher. However, you want to look at it, depending on uh, what sort of system I'm involved in. Anyway, I'm just here in Brixton. I'm going to show you a cool piece of art in a minute. In the meantime, a little update on the old uh, Tim, <laughs> Tim Ferriss. The four hour work week, I'm not quite there yet, still doing quite a lot of hours. But um, yeah, the two things I'm, I'm working on that he's advised. Number one, whenever you're out and about, look at people in the eyes. Look them in the eyes and don't break eye contact. Never break eye contact until they do. You've got to beat them, it's like a staring match. Um, he has a few caveats as to how to get out of it if you get into a weird confrontational situation or people think you're a nutter. Um, but it's just a, a way to kind of, uh, I can't remember the reason for doing it, but I've done it a little bit just when I'm riding around and it's quite funny because if you hold people's eyes and they hold yours and then you smile, they quite often smile back and it's like, hey, we're all having a nice day. Um, so yeah, most of the time it's worked. I haven't had any bad incidents yet, but like I said, I've been doing it when I've been cycling, so I haven't had the chance for anyone to come up and whack me around the head with their handbag or rolled up newspaper. So, number one, do a bit of a stare out with people and see what happens, just to sort of increase your, I don't know, confidence, ability to engage, things like that. Number two, and I'm walking around this mural, I'm gonna keep this mural up here, there's a, yeah, it's pretty cool, look at the power of reading blasting out. So number one is the staring thing, and number two, I have completely forgotten for the time being. No, I haven't. Number two, it's about a media or information fast or diet. So go on an information diet. And when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit much. But it's actually worked out quite well. Stop listening to news, stop reading newspapers, stop going on news websites, current affairs, blah, 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 all that sort of thing. He even said stop reading audiobooks. And I was a bit like, hmm, I love my audiobooks. But yesterday, I didn't listen to any audiobooks and I actually found myself being a little bit more productive, which was cool, because instead of like faffing around for an audiobook to listen to, I started thinking while I was cycling or walking around and doing a bit of thinking about what I want to do was actually quite useful. So yeah, and it was like um, instead of audiobooks or the news, maybe listen, listen to music. So I dug out some old of my favourite hip hop CDs, started listening to Eastern Conference All Stars again, which was amazing. So I was head nodding along, it inspired me to uh, get writing and I ended up writing a few more rhymes. So this information diet is actually quite good. You don't have to do it forever, but it just, uh, it's one of those little things, little tricks to help optimize your brain. So there's another thing to optimize your brain, reading. He didn't say stop reading, but he was mainly saying, keep reading this book, my book, the four hour work week only, and fiction before bed. Now, I'd probably mix that in with uh, like a biography, an inspiring biography before bed. So not necessarily information, but um, you know, just, just something inspirational. That's a little Ty Lopez trick, the bad man, as Shema says. Um, so, yeah, there are all my checks and tips for the two. Staring people out and an information diet. Turn off the news, because it's all agenda setting to uh, sell you stuff, keep you locked into the matrix, man. And as Tom Bilyeu of Impact Theory, that's a cool thing to watch, Tom Bilyeu Impact Theory says, his main mission is to get people out of the matrix. So uh, yeah, that's a mini mission of mine. So anyway, that's four minutes of fun for you. Live from Brixton and this wonderful mural outside the library and the power of books. So try it out, see what you think, and uh, subscribe and comment below. Yeah, see how your advent, let me know how your, your adventures go and whatnot. All right, take care, peace in the east, and remember vocalswords.com and everything at Solo Cipher. Vocal Swords, Solo Cipher. We really want to be businessy. Ollie Permaculture, that's too much info. Information diet, let's go, bye.